that makeup nails, bitch, yes, I slay I be giving face, eyebrows on swim Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back with a braces video. First, I'm going to give you guys an update, then I'm going to go ahead into the things that the orthodontist tells you not to eat while you have your braces. But some of the stuff you can get away with, y'all stay tuned. I really forgot what I had told y'all last time. Oh, they were redoing the braces. They did that, and it did hurt, you know, but I got over that, and I got power chains back in on the top. I think I'll give you guys a close-up so y'all can see how my braces are looking now, but I got power chains back in. I got appointment Friday, and it's Wednesday, so yeah, I should have another short, short braces update when I come back but nothing too much has been going on with these braces like they repositioned them and it was like the beginning process all over again so I don't want to keep repeating like the same information but yeah they repositioned the braces and I had got my I got the gap back like when they repositioned my braces because this was like two months ago I got my gap back and I was like, oh my goodness, like, I hope my teeth are not shifting back the way they were at first, like, before I even got braces. But, when they put the power chains in this time, the gap closed up again. So, I guess that was all part of the process. That was just one major thing that I was like, dang, is this supposed to happen? But, yeah, like, I got the power chains in... On the top, I think, or the bottom. I definitely gotta get you guys a close up because I forgot. But yeah, and then like if I if I got them on the top, I'm going Friday to get them put on the bottom. Or if I got them on the bottom, I'm going Friday to get them put on the top. Y'all get it. Like they're gonna put pop power chains on top and bottom if y'all need like real information y'all can watch my past videos i have a whole braces playlist y'all click on that watch it through so y'all can get some information like especially if you're new to getting braces or like you just getting your braces or anything i i went through a lot and i gave a lot of information out at the beginning but right now it's just like the same reoccurring process like they repositioned the braces to fix like to even straighten my teeth even more that was you know another big thing but then my gap came back and that's what the power chains help and i'm going friday to get power chains put on the the side that doesn't have power chains on them and now we're gonna get like that was the quick little update situation right now I'm feeling confident that the braces are working and I see an improvement, of course, from when I didn't have braces at all. But now we're going to jump right into the foods that Arthur Dennis tells you not to eat. So, yeah, let's get into that. <laughs> like, the thing about the, thing about the foods that you're not supposed to eat, like, a lot of people with braces still eat these foods including me like some things that are the things tells you not to avoid because first things first everything everything gets into in, in your braces like everything you eat besides soup and like liquid stuff you know everything gets stuck in your braces and it's kind of hard for that not to happen but like foods that you're not supposed to eat are mostly foods that could cause damage to your braces or like injury sometimes and yeah y'all don't want that to happen but i'm going to tell you foods that you should absolutely avoid then i'm going to tell you foods that could be okay if you do it right and be careful 
if you know what I mean. So yeah, let's get into this list. First things first, popcorn. I I kind of eat popcorn sometimes, but you do have to be really, really, really careful. You know the part that gets stuck in your teeth, like that, that part gets stuck in your teeth even even if you don't have braces. But when you got braces, it's much worse. So if you are like if you do or you just have to have popcorn, just eat it like without the hull part, like the hullless popcorn, like they sell in the bag, not the, the popcorn in the microwave because that is an absolute no no. Like you got to get something stuck in your braces and it's gonna be painful, right? And the orthodontist might end up being like responsible for taking it out and you don't wanna put nobody through the extra work and you don't want to put yourself through that pain of not being able to get something off in between your teeth that are shifting and probably in pain anyways so popcorn is a no-go unless it's like the hullest popcorn that you can buy in a bag you know and the next thing is because it is a hard food like certain nuts you cannot eat like almonds they're really hard and you have to like chew them and you can end up breaking your break you, you can end up breaking your brackets with almonds or anything harder so almonds are actual no no i still eat like cashews but not often i'm looking at my phone because i wrote notes um sticky and hard candy slash gum like hard candy if you gon if you the type to bite into your hard candy no but if you're like don't eat it like but if you're the type a person to just like let it sit in your mouth until it like dissolves then yeah like it won't hurt your teeth but it's all about protecting your braces protecting the process and protecting your teeth with any like food that you're you plan on eating that's why the orthodontist warned you because it is painful like if you break i never broke a bracket or nothing like that but it's painful with the brackets in your mouth just like being there so i'm i could only imagine how painful it is if one of them breaks and then you have to rush to the orthodontist and they have to help you fix it out or like you know you don't want to go through that and gum yeah gum can get in like into your braces where the orthodontist have to like take it out and reposition like you know like it's just a no-go like it's not worth it gum it's not worth it but i do chew gum you have to know you have to really know how to chew gum like not know how to chew gum but you gotta know how like not to let it get stuck in your braces like don't chew it till it get like too sticky and all that because it definitely will get stuck in your braces you just gotta chew and spit it out like you gotta be careful with gum but hard candy a no-go like especially if you the type of person to bite into your hard candy a lot of people say don't eat pretzels and corn chips i don't eat that anyways and I don't think, I don't know, like, it depends, like, you know, again, like, you don't want to keep biting into foods that may potentially, like, break your brackets or make something come loose. But the thing about all these foods in general, they're hard foods, so if you bite down on them, it, like, you could break your brackets and they get stuck in your teeth. They get stuck in your braces, not your teeth. They get stuck in your braces easily, like most of these foods. Like it's two things going on with this list. Either the food will absolutely get stuck in your braces where you may need assistance to get them out, or the food is absolutely too hard for you to try to bite down and they'll damage your brackets. That like some another thing is that sometimes if you plan on eating these foods or you like you just can't do without these foods but you still want braces or you still have braces you might not want to eat these foods anyway because like when you go for your braces tightening or when you first get in braces your teeth are gonna hurt or be sore anyway so these foods like you're not gonna want to eat them because when you chewing on certain foods like you don't want to feel that pain 
But yeah, the next thing is sticky or hard chocolate. Okay. I did have an experience with sticky or hard chocolate. Like I could not eat chocolate and I was so devastated when I first got braces. Like some chocolates are too hard and they make your braces like hurt really bad and then like the other chocolates like we especially if it has caramel and all that it's going to get stuck in your braces so again now i feel like i can handle eating that but if you cannot handle eating eating chocolate or like sticky chocolate or hard chocolate do not do it okay guys that was it for my list of foods that you should not eat now i'm going to change it up a little and i'm going to talk about foods that are recommended like the week the week of and the week after you get braces or however long it takes you to like however long it takes the pain or the soreness to go away from getting braces or like the day or two after you get your braces tightened because your braces your teeth are going to be sore so i do recommend these foods that i'm about to you know give you guys a list of and <clears throat> again for the foods that you shouldn't eat if i miss anything or is anything that you know that you had to avoid please put them down in the comments below i'm sure that it will benefit someone to know the list of foods that they should not you know take in especially when they have braces so let's get into this list of foods that i recommend when your when your teeth are sore from braces the first thing about the popcorn the nullest popcorn i mean not null but hullest popcorn without the you know the little thin pieces of popcorn like the thin piece y'all know what i'm talking about but I recommend the, the popcorn without it that come in the bag because that's great and you know it's easy to eat it won't it won't hurt your braces at all even even if your teeth are sore you know yogurt yogurt is a great you know a great source of calcium and it is also a delicious food to eat especially when you have braces and your teeth are sore it goes down smooth you don't have to chew at all and a couple of fruits that i recommend i listed them bananas grapes oranges strawberries really any fruits that are soft like you can eat fruit maybe not pineapple like you know like hard firm fruit and definitely not apples you cannot eat apples when your teeth are sore like crackers or cookies you definitely can eat a cracker or cookie just like no intense chewing because you're not going to be able to do that um mashed potatoes like <laughs> mashed potatoes are a food that i stuck by when i when my teeth were sore i still stick by it when my teeth are sore i might be eating it this weekend because i get my braces tight on friday so mashed potatoes are a good food and it fills you up it's not it's not too much and it's not like you're not eating nothing a couple of pasta or noodle dishes that's good that you know go down you don't have to chew a lot and it will not affect the pain or the soreness of your teeth ravioli is a good dish spaghetti macaroni and cheese and other like ramen noodles all of that is a great source of food to eat especially when your teeth are sore and for me that is pretty much it y'all can also leave down in the comments below if you have more foods that you would recommend eating like maybe like popsicles are good too but like just don't bite them <laughs> just don't bite them but you know any foods that y'all recommend eating when your teeth are sore from braces y'all leave them in the comments any food that y'all recommend a fellow braces member avoiding y'all leave those down in the comments as well thank you for watching to the end i really appreciate that make sure you click my amazon link to see some of my favorites in the description down below and make sure you leave a comment and drop some gems for us because i don't know everything and 
if I forgot to mention anything, y'all help me out and leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.